Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1445 Brewster Avenue Southeast here in Salem. Located uh, just to the front, or the, uh, to the right of the front door. We're in the process of doing some drain cleaning. I just advanced the uh, flex shaft machine all the way out to the main. So we're gonna start cleaning here in just a moment. It looks like most of your buildup is towards the end of the line. We'll shove out here real quick just to show that. Right now we're in the uh, belly in the line here with the buildup in it. There is a belly at the very start of the line, but I did not see a whole lot of buildup in it. If there is any, we'll clear it out with the machine. It looks like most of it is accumulating out here towards the end of the line. So right here is where we connect with the main lateral. There's the uh, flex shaft machine in the line. So we're going to pull the camera back away as here, start cleaning. And then we'll take a second view of everything once we're done. And just so you know here, my machine is a little bit different than a Hydrojet. It uses spinning chain flails that spin at about 2,000 RPMs that turn everything into microscopic pieces of debris. Now sometimes when I'm done here, you'll see particulate floating around the water in the belly especially. Uh, I'll try and get, get, show a good view of that when we're done here, but that particulate is not thick debris build up there. The camera lens makes things look like quite large. But anyway, we'll see how it looks when we drain out. But just so you know that this is it's not it doesn't it doesn't uh, blast using water. It uses spinning chain flails. It blend everything up into and pulverize it into nothing, and then it just moves out on its own.
And we're now going back into the, the belly here in the line where the standing water is and there were all the debris buildup was. See a big difference between the first time through and now. Again, you have some fine particulate floating around. That's not the stuff that caused blockages. That stuff will make its way out on its own with toilet flushing. Amazingly, we were able to get basically all the eggshells out. That is one thing. I don't know if you saw that on a couple of those times where I was coming to check the cleaning work, the particulate floating around. A lot of it was eggshells. That is something you really, really want to keep out of your sewer line. They, they act almost like gold, where it's heavy, very heavy and dense. And it goes for any part of your sewer system. They're very sticky and tend to build up, especially in your kitchen sink. Uh, but anywhere you have standing water in the line, they just sink to the bottom of it and stay put. And I've seen some households get some pretty gnarly eggshell buildup over over time, and it can lead to blockages. So, uh, amongst that, grease, paper towels, wipes, tampons, stuff like that. The only thing that should be going down the line, ideally, is just toilet paper. I, ideally, I would fold it. It will travel through the belly much nicer than balled up toilet paper, and obviously paper towels and tampons and grease. Definitely keep that out of the line. You almost want to treat the line like a septic system. Uh, and it does a great deal to keep build up to a minimum. If you're not putting all those items I just mentioned down the line, and it's just toilet paper going through the line, you're putting very little in the line that can actually build up. Toilet paper might hang up for a moment, but it breaks down on its own. And the distance this belly is from the home is a, unless you've got some pretty, you know, unfortunate habits of what you're putting down the line and or have a very large household, bellies that are this distance from the home are relatively unlikely to cause a backup because of how far they are. Uh, your belly starts somewhere around 50, 55 feet. Uh, if you blocked, in theory, if you blocked up there, you're having to fill up, you know, roughly, by the time you're back to the first fixture in the house, probably 70 feet or so of pipe. The amount of head pressure you create doing that with all the water weight sitting on that blockage in, in almost every circumstance would push the blockage through. That's of course, unless you're putting things down the line that shouldn't be going down there. Paper towels, stuff like that will, will create very hard blockages and you can legitimately get a backup from that distance. Otherwise, regular toilet paper, human waste and, and the proper food going down the, the disposal is, is unlikely to cause a backup from that distance. If that belly were right next to the house, uh, you know, one of that, that size there would be a little bit different story. But what I found over the over 12 years and about 20,000 inspections at this point is that bellies in plastic pipe anyway, because the pipe walls are so smooth relative to older pipe products, in most cases when you get a backup out of a belly, a lot of the time it's either stuff that shouldn't be going down the line or tons of giant balls of toilet paper going through the line. You can see those little tiny bits left over there. Those are super tiny little pieces of eggshell. Everything else moved on its way. And that stuff there is not going to lead to any flow problems whatsoever. Those little particles there are, you know, slightly larger than grains of sand. Anyway, nice and clean. And we did have a belly at the start of the line. We'll pull back and see if that needs any cleaning done on it. And here's the this little belly, and this is a this is a little tiny belly here. You've got roughly a quarter inch of water in there. Like I was mentioning before, if you had a belly the same size of the one that we just cleaned out in the street, right next to the home, it's one I'd likely recommend repairs on. As small as that little belly is there, you can see how there was absolutely no buildup in it whatsoever. Uh, there's a reason for that. It's a tiny little belly. It's not one that even needs repairs. Again, that's a, that's a spot that. 
Again, in theory, you could get buildup there, but the only time you're gonna get buildup and blockages from a, a belly that teeny tiny is if you're putting everything under the sun down the line that should not be going down there. Anyhow, we have a free flowing line now. All the buildup has been removed from the sewer line. It is functioning at this time. All the pipe we just scoped there all appears to be in good condition. Oh, and I'll show the front of the house here so you know we're at the right home. There's our front doorway. Clean out just to the right of it.